Bethany Boring. I'm here with Kaden. Say hey, Kaden. Hi, Dad. <laughs> and I'm just here this morning. I thought I wanted to shoot a really quick video to show you a little bit of my crazy world. Um, here is my little guy down here. Can you say hi, Matthew? Say, say hey. There's my little guy. He's chowing down on Cheerios, which is a very healthy breakfast. And anyway. <laughs> I wanted to show you a couple things, um, some things that I've implemented to keep me determined um, during this May to Crave study. Um, you guys, if you don't know my story, look at the post below this one, um, or check out if you want to interested. Some of you guys have emailed me, um, want to know more about my cancer journey. You can look at posts starting in 2011, yeah. is when I started blogging about my cancer journey. I'm now in remission, but this is a huge step for me um, to kind of go above that surviving mindset. You know, I've been a cancer survivor, you know, ever since that battle. Um, now I'm going to, well, there's a whole lot more to life than just surviving. It's time to live. And that's kind of where I'm going to. So you guys get to enjoy the ride with me and I get to enjoy the ride with you guys too, which is really cool. I'm enjoying it. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. I have started a really cool new breakfast routine. Um, if you read my blog last week, you know that I had just been doing these weight loss shakes for a long time, which were okay. But the problem is when I started these weight loss shakes, I was going through cancer, um, going through treatment, and the main reason I did them, <laughs> the main reason I did them um, was because they kept me healthy and they were the only thing that was going down. Um, Kaden. When you go through that, you realize really quick that only certain foods go down. And that and pretty much a strawberry smoothie from McDonald's were like my only things I ate. I ate one probably a day. Well, going through that, my five-year-old son now, six-year-old, ah, I forgot he just had a birthday. Six-year-old son was watching me drink these things. And a couple weeks ago, he looked over at me and said, Mommy, I thought they got the tumors. I thought they were all gone. I said, buddy, they are. He said, well, Mommy, why are you still drinking those shakes if you're not sick anymore? And it hit me. I was still in survivor mode. And when you're in survivor mode, you're like, you're glad that you made it through that part. But yet, you're also very hesitant to what the future holds. And that anxiety, <laughs> anxiety drove a lot of what I did. I couldn't quite get to that next step until made a crave. And a confident heart got, guided me through a lot of that stuff. So anyway, what I was going to show with you guys is the first thing I had to change was my breakfast routine. Um, get away from the shakes, and it had a lot of chemicals in there, which I was like, ew. <laughs> so I was like, I got to change this around, but I need something quick. What did I do? Check this out. This is, whoa. Okay, okay, that probably doesn't look like much. <laughs> Chocolate refrigerated oatmeal. And I got the recipe down below. Um, one of the ladies from our group actually told me about it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And then I saw the chocolate recipe. And I was like, hello, chocolate. Because uh, that's the kind of shakes that I drink. And I was like, okay, maybe I can try that. Actually, like real food. So I tried it and I got hooked. The first day, I was only able to make it through about half uh, the quantity that was in there. Which is pretty pathetic now when I look at it. Um, but now I'm up to at least finishing three-fourths of it, which I made some progress there. I don't have much of an appetite still, and I'm trying to boost that back up. Um, tip, if you're a mom, okay, these plastic things are amazing for curious boys or girls, <laughs> whichever you may have. Um, if your kids like to sneak behind your back and try to get into your stuff, uh, especially when mommy's doing something brand new and they're very curious about eating, trying, behind your back <laughs> and you don't have a lock on the fridge. Plastic is awesome. These things have been dropped a couple times now and it's still in a whole piece. Um, the recipe on there is great. It also includes a thing called chia seeds. Chia seeds, chia. Yay, they're really good. I like them. They've got omega-3s and fiber and tons of stuff in there. You just put a teaspoon. Um, I only do a teaspoon. You can do more than that. If you're like one of those people that are hungry, um, or you got an appetite. I don't have that issue right now, but some people do. Um, those things supposedly are supposed to work. I've heard from friends that so they do work on that. You just pour that over top of these. Um, I put more of the recipes down there in the main link. Now here's something else cool that we've implemented to help me out. Check this out. Let's see down there below. There you go. My kids have water cups now. And these water cups are so helping us in our journey. This is my water cup. 
Um, what? I can't go to Starbucks because I'm trying to stay away from like the real like mocha frappe things. Oh, okay, or a double chocolatey chip frappuccino. Okay, is anybody else drilling out there? I love those things, but you know, I started thinking, I'm like, if I have water on the go, this thing I know holds 20 ounces um, of water, so I can count and make sure I get my water in each day. The other thing that I implemented, and this was totally a God thing, one of my friends had it and introduced it to me before the study started. There we go, Fitbit, awesome. Fitbit is awesome. If you don't have one, let me recommend stuff to you. Everybody's talking about the price of these things, and I'm not going to sit there and shoot it out. You have to get one. If you're looking into it and you're like, yeah, I really want to get one, but I don't have the money. We are the kings of living on a budget. We know budget. We are awesome with budget. Do me a favor. If you're really serious about getting one of these Fitbit things, do your research. Make sure you like it. Connect with a friend out there that has one. You've got to have a friend that has one. Get on Facebook and say, hey, I'm interested in doing this Fitbit thing. Does somebody have one that they can show it to me? Um, I had a friend who had a husband <laughs> that had one of these things that just so happened didn't like it. He had got it a couple months ago, didn't have the warranty or anything for it, didn't like it, and was just hanging on to it. Well, guess how I got mine? I, I paid 15 bucks for my Flex. $15. That's all it takes. 50 bucks. You can find these on Craigslist. Um, I don't recommend eBay, but if you want to go that route, you can. My whole thing is check it out. And you do not have to get new necessarily on these things. Um, if you are looking into the Fitbit, I have the Flex, so feel free to connect with me if you want to know more about it. There is an... I didn't really get a choice because that's what the guy had. <laughs> but... I really like it because I've heard from a lot of other people that have gotten the older model or the other models that are, I guess, have the the uh, unit actually built into the band that their bands break. And when the bands break, the whole thing you have to throw out the window. So with mine, um, it comes out of the band, which a lot of people are like, eh, I don't like to charge it. Well, yeah, I get over it. <laughs> um, I like to charge mine. And it's been a huge lifesaver. I'm able to track my steps. I'm able to log my calories. And the cool thing about it is my six-year-old is totally into checking out the numbers. Um, and I wish I could show you my app, but I'm recording on my phone, so too bad. Um, one of the first things I did, too, this week, I made a meal that I looked up on the Biggest Loser website and tried it. Um, it bombed. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. It completely bombed. And when I mean bombed, I mean bad so anyway um but it was the quesadilla and fruit salad i love fruit salad um the quesadilla didn't do well with me <laughs> so i'm just gonna leave it at that you guys can try that recipe if you want to go for it we're not but we did get to what's cool is that sitting around the table with my husband we were able to talk about something that we wanted to try what are some recipes that we want to try together to get our family more into a healthy lifestyle what is something we can do and it's something that we're both kind of into now, about trying new recipes, looking at the calories, trying to see what all's in there, not just grabbing a meal from the freezer. Um, they're still gonna be nice that we do that. But we're making some changes that we're gonna stick together. If you're a mom out there with kids, okay? Um, let me just suggest something to you. A bunch of us seem to go through life and we're like, that, that was me. I don't have time to exercise. I don't have money for a gym membership, too bad. Well, one thing I love doing now that my husband has helped me so much with, um, <clears throat> he goes to work around 8.45. My kiddo has to be at school about 7.30. So what I've been doing is three times a week. I can't do it every day. But three times a week, um, I have my Fitbit that vibrates, and it goes off about 5.55 a.m. And I'm usually out the door by 6. And for that whole hour, it's just me, my phone, my Fitbit, I guess, <laughs> and God. I guess I should reverse that. God, me, my phone, and my Fitbit. And it's awesome. I've got podcasts on there. I've got worship music on there. I've got the Bible on there. I've done pretty much all of that. My my first day doing that was last Friday. I was sick pretty much all day yesterday. Um, and I still did it. So it's an idea. you know. Get And I still have time. By the time I make it home, I have time to get a shower. My husband is awesome and gets up with the kids and gets them ready for school. So I walk out after an awesome time with God, after listening to my podcast, after, you know, just walking. And it still feels so good to walk and get that, and for me anyway, out of my stress out of my system that way. And it's just great. And it's on my Fitbit and keeps everything connected. And it just makes my whole day better. Um, I can't wait to read some of these blogs and check out what you guys are doing. 
and I'll probably have more recorded below, but I've got to get to somebody, as you can tell. Duty calls. I'm off. Nice to meet you guys. Hope to hear from you soon.